Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is string replace or replace inline node? Let's go ahead and run through this quick little example. Let's hook up my regular string and we'll go ahead and hit play. This is going to be our test string for the example. A few spaces. This is a long string of long text and a few more spaces. So the replace and replace in line nodes. These are intended to replace one part of a string with another string. Now keep in mind a string can be something either null or it can be a space. So you could remove spaces and replace them with nothing or you could insert spaces as an example. Or you could just remove something and replace it with nothing. So let's see this working. We're going to start with the normal replace first. Now let me go ahead and plug my source string in, which I showed you earlier. And we'll go ahead and plug this into our output. And we'll leave it with everything else blank. When we hit play, nothing changes because we haven't told it to replace anything. By default, nothing's going to happen. So our from is basically what is the string we're going to look for? What do we want to change? R2 is, once we find anything, what are we going to change it to? So in my example, I have a substring to get. And my substring to get is going to be the word long. Now pay attention, and it does say long with a lowercase l, and that will be important for down here. Now if I go ahead and hit play with it plugged in just like this, you'll now see we no longer have any occurrences of the word long, and they've been replaced with nothing. Now you will notice there will be two spaces here because we had a space, the word long, and another space. And the same thing here. It doesn't get rid of any trailing or preceding spaces. It just simply replaced the word long literally with nothing. Now let's say we want it to be something else. Let's say we want to say short. Well, we type in short. We hit play. Now we have this is a short string of short text. So that's it. That's it. That's all you have to do. A common occurrence may be, for example, if you want to replace all the spaces with something else, just do a from space to nothing and hit play. Now you've removed all the spaces from your text, including the ones in the front and the ones at the end and then everything in between. So let's go ahead and look at the replace. Oh, sorry. And then the last one is our search case, which is why I mentioned earlier it's important to note that our substring is in lowercase. By default, it's set to ignore case. It's going to look for any occurrence, any way it's spelled, uppercase or lowercase. If we change this back to case sensitive, plug in our substring to get, and let's change this to short. Let's plug this back in and run it. We're going to find, well, it's not going to work. Because we're now case sensitive and our original string has a capital L and our substring has a lowercase L, it is no longer going to find any valid matches. It's going to fail and it's not going to change anything. So keep that in mind if you need it to be exact or not exact. By default, it will ignore case sensitivity. So replace inline. The first thing you're going to notice is this actually has execute in and execute out wires. So let's go ahead and hook this up. This is going to have to be hooked up and it's going to run in line because it's not looking for and giving you a new result. This one will actually take the original result in, do its replacements, and output back to the original result the change string. This little diamond node here is a reference node. Basically, instead of saying take copies of these right here, work on the copies, don't alter the copies, and give me a new string, this is going to say, okay, give me the actual long string. I'm going to do something to it. So. By default, if we do this, we're going to run into an issue. If you notice, there is no output. Well, that's because, like I said, it is going to change the input string. Let's go ahead and hook up our long string here because we're going to be altering the original. And let's hit play. You'll notice nothing changes. Like the original node, we don't have anything hooked up, so therefore there's no change. And let's go ahead and do this the same way we did before. Let's change our substring of long. And let's replace it to short again. We're going to go ahead and play. And now you'll see this is a short string of short text. Now to show you it's actually altering the original string, 
Let's go ahead and pause this during execution. Here's our first note. If we look at our long string, you can see it says current value equals, and then our long string, the few spaces, the text, and another few spaces. If we go ahead and step, we run our replace inline node, and we go ahead and check out our long string again. You'll notice it now says this is a short string of short text because we've changed our longs into shorts. You'll notice there is no output here where I've actually changed this. I have another new string. It has altered the original. Case sensitivity works the same as on the other node. You can ignore case or have it case sensitive. If we go ahead and do case sensitive, we should get nothing changed because we have the uppercase L in here and the lowercase l in here. Now in terms of the output, we have return value. Let me go ahead and plug this in, and let's go ahead and run this and see what pops up. We're gonna see zero. This is the number of times this search text was replaced with this replacement text. We change this back to ignore case, we run it, we'll see two. So, replace in line will alter the original text, and then output how many times it has changed. So depending on what you're looking to do, you can use either the replace just to simply replace temporarily, or the replace inline to replace permanently, and also let you know how many times it has done the modification. That's it. Those are our two replace nodes. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.